hey guys Daps here welcome to my youtube channel i'm excited to share another video with you today in this video i want to show you how you can design custom header and footer in elementor if you have an, uh, an header or a footer on a website like mine that is boring like this and if you scroll down as well you'll see that i have a very boring footer and you want to have something custom for free i'll show you in this video so we'll come back to the back end of the website and instead of us going through the normal route of Elementor template, I'll show you how to do this with the simple help of a free plugin that will make this so easy for us. So let's come to plugin, let's come to add new and here we'll search for a plugin called Element Kit. Uh, Element Kit Elementor add-on plugin. We'll install this plugin and then we'll activate the plugin. But I've left here, you see element kit. If you hover around it, you would see a place for header and footer. So if you click this option, uh, you would find yourself in this dashboard. But before we do anything here, we just have to go through a process of onboarding. Uh, so let's start real quick. You go to the next bot uh, next button, the next one, and the next, and the next, and then we can hit save changes. So once we do this, we are good to use this plugin. So we can come back to header and footer and click this and then we'll see that we have just no header and no footer on our website design yet and so what we have to do is to create a new one uh, by clicking the hard new but if we come down here you see a function for header and footer where we can separate our header and our footer let's just hit the hard new button let's give this a title let's say site header uh, the type is header that's good and then condition is to open this on an entire site this plugin can help us create header for specific pages or archive pages but unfortunately those are in the pro version if you want to have a uh, header for specific pages you may want to consider the pro version but an entire website is okay for this tutorial and the next thing here is for us to activate and let's activate this so that it will take charge i won't be saving this i will just want to edit this so that we can get started immediately immediately i hit the edit button it would bring us to an elementor dashboard here where we can customize our header yeah so we are inside elementor already so i want to close my navigator i really don't like that it distracts me so we'll see an option here for element kit when we we'll click that um it will bring us here we have a uh, lot of pages and fantastic work these guys have done they have quite awesome uh, page templates here that you can easily import into your existing website uh, to just design something entirely new some of them are paid literally but i don't want to waste so much time that maybe i'll do that in another video uh, so when we come to the section option here we would have fantastic uh sections we can easily bring into our page so let's click this and let's filter this down to strictly header okay now we have quite some headers here that we can play around with fan fantastic headers that we can use uh, for you can see if we over around here we see the insert button and um, if we click around this again we see insert insert uh, but for this ones you see it says go premium it means that you need to go you need to have a premium plan to use those ones but the free ones are enough for us to use uh, so let's just consider using one let's use this one let's insert this uh, so this is what it will look like uh, it's not looking like what we saw there but let's just customize this so let's click this for us to select our preferred menu which is the main menu and yes we have our menu here already and that's good so let's click this to bring in our logo as well uh, so I'll come to my library and then I think this is I think this is my logo here so let's uh, import this uh, this is quite big so we can customize this so let's come to our styles and let's uh, reduce the width to something smaller as you can see something around this is good uh, so uh, this is fine and we can also maybe edit the background of the header and just click uh, the this button here and come to style and then we see the color here we can change this to something a little bit darker okay more like that yeah so ex literally this is how you can customize uh your header to give you something entirely you want so let's play again with our social media handle so we click this 
we will have the option here to let's say we don't have a dribble account so we can delete that and that will take that off the list and then we can click specific ones for us to be able to put our uh, social media url we can also customize this to change the colors and everything just to make it pop so that's just the idea of how you can customize all of this so this is done let's come down here and update this page uh, so update is done and then we can go to our site and let's refresh this to see if we'll have something new bingo you can see we have a new header right now in split seconds this is how beautiful it is for us to create amazing headers with elementor thanks to element kit so right now we can do the same thing also for our footer we can come back here uh, we can decide to uh, hit this button here and then go to exit so that we can leave this page yeah apply and then we can come back to element you can come back to element kit we can come to header and footer as usual and then we can see that we have our, our header active here and this is fantastic so let's try to add new again and let's uh, change this now to footer and let's call this site footer so let's activate this and let's edit this the same way we did for our header initially so we are here let's hit element kit and let's come to sections and then we can filter this down to footer and we have quite a number of footers here for us to use but we can see that just these two here alone are paid other ones we need to go premium but this two is enough for us to experiment so let's uh, pick one of this let's pick this let's insert this into our page and then immediately we have our footer here already so we will need to maybe insert a plugin for us to have our subscribe button there like we saw in the demo that might just be the help of mailchimp plugin uh, we can figure out that later so let's uh, put our logo here let's click this and let's add in our logo as usual so this is my logo file for footer let's insert this into the page and you can see i have the size there so we can also click this uh, sometimes we just need to click this alone for it to refresh uh, this so you can see it's back here it has been refreshed so dribble as usual we can delete that uh, since we deleted that in the header now we are back on our side so let's scroll down and let's check we have a different footer here very beautiful one but we notice that we still have the old one hop here as usual and that's not too good so how do we solve that so let's come back here and let's close this uh, elemental page and then let's come down to um, appearance let's come to customize and then we'll see a place for footer builder so let's click this this is custom to astra team uh, and you will see that we have uh, our element our footer elements down there so let's scroll down to where our footer is and yeah this is it so we can see what's here is what's there so we can just delete this so let's delete the credit uh, copyright credit is gone and let's uh, delete the logo as well and let's delete the email and you can also delete social media so deleting all of them had made that place blank and that's exactly what we want so after doing this we can hit the publish button and then we can come back to the front end and refresh this page and then our footer is gone and that's exactly everything we need to do uh, so that is how super simple and easy it is for us to create custom head and footer with Elementor for free. I believe you find this very intriguing and you can experiment with this on your site as well. So if this video has been useful for you, give me a thumbs up. If you have any issues, let me know in the comment section. Subscribe to get more awesome videos like this and that's my time for this video. By the way, I upload videos every now and then around WordPress, making you look like a pro. So if you're into WordPress, Join this family and I'll see you in another video. Thank you and have a nice time.